Alright, what's up guys, uh, this is James Webb, um, I'm gonna teach you guys how to edit some screenshots for MX Simulator, uh, there's a preview, up above you'll see a text tutorial on how I get my screenshots and just little tips and tricks and stuff, but this is just gonna be a Photoshop tutorial on when you have the screenshots and how to edit them. So, what I do is... I use fraps to take my screenshots, but it really doesn't matter. Okay, so I'll just use the two screenshots that I used in the example. Um, as I said, you take one and then the other, one with the rider, one without. But what I do is take the one with the rider and then go to duplicate. Then you just select the background, and then that gets it over them both over on this side. And then, as I said, you go to difference here and then select color range make this sure this is at zero and then hit delete control D and then change this back to normal and then that was all in the text tutorial but now I'm going to teach you guys how to edit them basically um, if you see this is just the writer and this is just the background so they're separated so first things first, um, I like to do a shadow, and how I do that is I duplicate the rider layer, and you can name this shadow so you don't get confused, and then put this under the rider, and then uh, color overlay it to black, and then zoom out a little bit, then hit Control T, left right click, and then go to distort, and then what that does is allows you to move it everywhere. So you, there's no define transforming. You could just do whatever. So what I'm gonna do here is bring it inverted like that. And I'm gonna bring it up. And I'm gonna make the tires touch. Not quite how I want it. And what you do, you just kind of mess with this until it's basically exactly how you want it. Um, for the tutorial's sake, that right there is good enough. But of course, just mess with it. And now what I do is go to the opacity up here and then change it to around 50 usually. 51 is okay. And then select the shadow then go to filter blur Gaussian blur and then make it five or you could go higher um, whatever really looks good to you I usually just use five and then yeah uh, I like to merge these layers and then here I would uh, hide the riders and then take the blur tool and then just change the hardness to about 15 and then the size is all preference um, that looks good to me and then I'm just gonna nicely blur the background That looks decent, you know. Um, with this, it's not too important because with this one, the only background is just a few trees. There really is nothing else. So, there's that. And then now, what I would usually do is go up to Image Adjustments HDR Toning. Hit yes. And this is where I do all my color adjustments. Basically, what I do first is adjust the toning curves in the histogram. Um, if you look, when you select one of these, a color somewhere, it shows up on the histogram down here, right here, and um, that is basically just telling you what colors are affected by the histogram. But I usually just do something like that. You know, it looks good to me. 
And I turn these down, I don't like those. And then gamma, turn the gamma up. Some Most people like the gamma high, it looks realistic, I guess. And then you just mess with the exposure. So these you kind of just mess with. I like to have the edge glow basically eliminated, so zero, basically all of, as far down as you can go on it, which they are both at that now. And then I turn the, depending on what track and the lighting of the track, you just adjust the gamma. You're obviously not going to want it to look like that, but anything from high gamma is this to low gamma will look good. It's just personal preference. For the sake, I'll go high gamma, such as that, and then you just, when you adjust the uh, gamma, you have to counteract with the exposure, because uh, the gamma will make it darker, and then you can make it brighter with the exposure. And that's about what I would do, something like that. Detail, um, detail makes, adjust how much detail is in the picture. Uh, See it's at negatives, you'll be able to tell what the blurred trees are here. Um, if you turn it all the way up, you can see the detail of the trees gets a little bit better. Um, this really doesn't matter, you could leave it at 300 if you wanted to and it really wouldn't affect too much. And then these, the advanced um, shadows, are going to uh, dim and lighten the things that the Photoshop thinks are shadows. So, um, I wouldn't mess with it, honestly, but, yeah. And the highlight, uh, it's just highlights. If you turn it down, the highlights are going to dim. Turn it up, highlights are going to brighten. Um, you can mess with this and make things look really nice. So, I would just have the highlights to around there. And then, uh, the vibrance. This can look good if used correctly. You're not going to want it all the way up but you know anywhere really in here will look good but I personally don't like it so I keep it to zero and saturation you can mess with this as well it just desaturates and saturates the image um, zero looks good to me so I'll keep it at zero actually no for this picture I want it higher 20 and then for HDR Tony that's about all that I do um, you don't have to do HDR toning, you can just not do it and it'll look just fine. And then, yeah, that's basically how I edit my screenshots. From here on, I might do a little bit of adjustments, such as layer adjustment, new adjustment layer, and then levels. You know, I would add some levels. This is how I like personally my screenshots look, with a lot of levels like that. That looks very good in my opinion. And yeah, I like to add strokes on the outside of them. Just like this. And yeah, as you can see, looks decent. That's how I like to do my screenshots. Um, hopefully this tutorial helped. Hopefully some of you will actually read it and look through it. Maybe you'll learn something. You know, I would like to see a lot of really nice screenshots on the forums rather than just n no one trying and just looks not good. You know, I want to see some good ones and hopefully this helps. Good luck and thanks for watching.